Today we're going to be exploring deducers interactive plots. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is bring in our data set. We're going to use a data set called Diamonds, which is available in the ggplot2 um, package. You can get this simply by typing data diamonds into the console, or you can go ahead and if you have the deducer extras package loaded, we can load it from uh, this dialog here. And so now we have our data set. Um, it's a fairly large-ish data set, and it contains information about the, um, uh, the selling of diamonds, their carat, cut, color, and their price. Um, so let's take a look at this uh, in uh, graphics. Uh, so first thing we might want to take a look at is the scatter plot. And let's look at carat versus price. Okay, so now we have a plot here, and there's uh, several interactive things that we can do with it. Uh, we can make it more transparent, add some transparency to the points, uh, either by clicking here or hitting the left key, and we can make the points larger or smaller depending. So we can, if I do the left key, the transparency of the points goes down so that there's less of a problem with overplotting. If I hit up, points get bigger, down they get smaller. Um, that's great. We see that there's a nonlinear relationship. We might think that that's a log relationship. So uh, let's go ahead and transform caret and price and we'll give it a log transformation. You can now do another scatter plot. And instead of carrot and price, we'll use our transform values. And now we have a much more linear plot. And again, we can see our options here. We can make it a little more transparent. And um, you see that it, there's a higher density up top. Now, uh, the interesting interactive stuff comes uh, with the selection of points. If we select some points, uh, it's transferred to all plots, so we can see where those data points are uh, in all of the plots that we have open. And that becomes very useful if, say, we want to take a look at um, a bar plot of uh, the clarity of our um, diamonds. We can go ahead and sort of break things out by clarity and see how clarity is different uh, or what points in of clarity map to our scatter plots. And we see that up here um, the uh, points are at the top edge of the of the scatter plot and uh, the lowest clarity has points at the bottom edge of the scatter plot. And we can um, uh, sort of expect that as you know even if your carrots get very high if your clarity is low it's going to be on the low end of um, of the price range um, we can also if we hit view we can color all of our points um, by our bar chart chart uh, colors and so uh, that applies uh, these colorings across all of the plots that we have and if we create a new bar chart, let's say we want to look at the color instead of the clarity, um, that coloring is also applied um, to the color. And we can alternatively set the color to be in this uh, um, the color uh, bar chart, and we see that that's now applied across all of our scatter plots. So uh, we can see that um by taking a look at um, uh, our data interactively, we're able to get uh, a clear idea across uh, many different variables of um, of exactly what our data is uh, saying to us. And of course we can um, save these plots um, as PNGs and um, 
uh, yeah, and the uh, code um, is output to the console.